Welcome to Name That Plant, where we use various clues to determine what our mystery plant is. Leaves are egg-shaped with a tapered round base and tip with an abrupt sharp point. Leaves are 1 to 2 and 1 fourth inch long and 3 fourths to 1 and 1 half inch across. They have small round teeth edges known as crenate and are mostly opposite from each other. Their veins are curved to follow the leaf shape. They keep their green coloration through fall until the leaves drop in winter. Leaves are slightly hairy on the underside. This plant has distinctive male and female flowers on a single plant. Flowers grow in clusters one to one half inch across and located near branch axles, along outer branches, and at branch tips. Flowers are yellowish green in coloration, one fourth inch across, and have four prominent lance or triangle shaped petals. Male flowers have four stamens, while female flowers have a single four-parted style. Once pollinated, this plant produces berries. They start a dull green and mature to a shiny black outside and a purplish flesh that holds three to four seeds. Berries have a one-fourth inch diameter. Bark is a dark gray to nearly black and has a smooth, shiny surface that becomes more textured and brown as they age. On the surface are light-colored horizontal lancels. When cut, the inner wood is a deep orange color. New branches are more green in coloration. At the point of growth, branches grow from two stout thorns that curve inward, looking like a deer hoof. Branches tend to terminate to a sharp point. This plant grows to a height of 20 to 25 feet. Common buckthorn, or Rhamnus catharica, is a shrub or short tree native to Europe and West Asia. It was brought to North America in the 1800s as an ornamental plant and has since proliferated to extreme degrees of competing many native plants.